<laughs> hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. People are still filtering in from all kinds of different places. Uh, my name's Riz Support. I work on Shell Shockers. If you haven't been to the stream before, uh, if you have, then you kind of know what this is about. Uh, effectively, I'm going to take a couple hours to kind of show you the progress of the maps that I've been working on. Uh, those of you who were here last week will have seen a bunch of this. I was in some shambles last time you saw it. I went through and actually connected a lot of things together, so I'm going to be showing you guys that and a couple other things I've been working on. Uh, also here to answer any other questions you have about the world, uh, Stealth Dockers, Blue Wizard Digital, and really anything else. So I appreciate you guys being here with me for that. And any questions you have, just pop them in the chat. The whole stream itself is a bit of a work in progress. So we're getting better slowly but surely. Um, I've got a activity feed now, so I can actually see if someone gets a famous uh, Twitch superstar a subscription or follows the channel. So Phase Unicorn, props to you, much appreciated. Welcome, Musty Boy, Max, Summit, Course, Cornelius. Good to have you guys here. Hope you're doing well today. So this map, for those of you guys who weren't here, what's up, Vibes? Last week is a submission by a organization called Shell League, and they run one of the most successful and longest standing Shell Shockers leagues out there. Uh, you can find them on Discord, you can find them in a few other places. Uh, and one of their members, Eggenator, uh, who's a kind of long-standing Blue Wizard Digital fan artist, community member, uh, love having him around, submitted this particular map. We don't have a name for it yet, all we know is that it's some kind of weird, stacky, column hybrid. A little bit of a beast. It's team oriented, as you can imagine, coming from somewhere like Shell League. So I've tried to keep both sides a little distinct. Identification will go out a little later. Uh, you shoot straight, my shots legit just disappear into thin air, not even a blank. They just disappear. Hit Reg is one of those interesting things. Obviously, it's a pretty hot button topic. Uh, for any online shooter. Really, the challenge is always kind of negotiating your ping compared to who you're shooting at. And generally, I think we do a pretty good job of it. Now, could it be better? I, I definitely think it could be, but that's kind of one of those things we're constantly making small tweaks to, constantly looking at to try and get as smooth as possible. So if you're finding it repeatedly, definitely recommend a hardwired connection Hey, thanks for the follow, Jay and the other, Milk Clap, Player Chris, much appreciated. Uh, so I'm gonna dive in. The sell button. Thanks, Razox. I'm gonna dive in and show you the changes that I've made since you guys last saw this. Um, for those who weren't here, basically we had done all of the outsides of this map. But what was on the inside was a bit of a mystery. We didn't really know how this should all link together. And when I like to make maps, I like to try and get rid of as many blocks as possible that either stop your views from the outside, so kind of make it harder to spectate a game, and blocks that just have no real purpose. Like for instance, if there was a block right there, you know, obviously it could chill out, it's not bothering anybody, but better just remove it. The less vertices we have in a map, the better. Actually found couple other random blocks here to remove. Basically when the actual map loads to begin with, any block we, yeah, we don't have to draw will effectively make that map faster. Uh, some maps with even more vertices are a little more sluggish than others, but generally speaking we try and keep everything on par. But it makes a, makes a small bit of a difference. Hey, what's up, Okan? Thanks for dropping in. Fogger of Champ. What's up, Zams? Hey, Megadeth. 
So I finally realized there was a couple of things that I did wrong from the last one. Uh, this whole section, instead of being here, was actually built out to, I think, around there. It looked like it was in a spot on the little gif that we were looking at. In fact, I'll uh, see if I can get that going again. This was the gif that was provided to me when I first started making this map. We don't know the name yet, kills him. We don't know the name yet. Uh, so this was the gift that was provided to me, and I was kind of trying to piece it together. As I was saying, the inside was a bit of a mystery. You kind of want... Oh, in fact, this isn't the most recent version of the map. I had worked on it since then. Uh-oh. Let me see if I have that copy. One sec. There were some slight tweaks that I made in between now, in between this version and the most latest version. It's not it. You know, there's a chance that they're going to be lost in time, but that's okay. That explains why there was a couple blocks at the bottom that I missed. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming. I changed the spot of this ladder to be on the back of a different pillar. So I moved that pillar along to the middle, right here, and then I went straight up from here. So let's go ahead and do that. I sealed this off again, kind of exactly how it was in the brief. I had opened this up before, but trading game to the... You know, it's always tempting to make any game kind of as big as possible and have like as many features as possible. People want to see features from games they like in other games they play. It doesn't always work, but we are working on a lot of different things to add to the game. I think you guys are going to like. Don't know when this map's going to be released yet. It still has a little bit of work, and we have actually the next couple of months planned out. So I can show you some of what we've been working on. Will you actually be able to get up here or jump down? Probably want to fill that in. Create that nice little section here. We can't have both sides filled. It will be a little useless. Good name for this map. I mean, you know, names are not the most important part. I would say, I'm gonna save this and just check one more time to see if I can find that most recent version. Uh, I would say, Something castle something stacks. We could totally name it after Shell League if we want to. Oh, we have a few options. Okay, okay, here we go. This was the most current version. So even compared to what we were looking at, you'll notice some of the ledges are kind of thinned out a little bit to increase visibility. Now, the reason I noticed it is I added this pillar right in the middle to kind of make the inside a little less crack shot heavy. And I added a nice little kind of peek through from what tower are we in? The blue tower? From the blue tower, so you could kind of see into this middle section of the map. Both sides have access to the central chamber. You have one viewing platform on one side and the other side goes straight down to the very bottom. Let's actually go and see if oh, this expanded. So I was wondering whether or not I had to re-get rid of those blocks. But there's, there's a bit of this I want to hear your guys' opinion on. See what you think. What's up, Danny Voss? Hey, Sherbs. When will you put a cell button? So, okay, hold on. I have to scroll up to see that. So we don't like what we want and gain the same egg coin costed in the shop. Right now, the inventory, all sales are final. You can kind of see it on your egg before you buy it, but I think if we, you know, let people redeem anything, that makes skins a little less special. 
I kind of like the way we have it now. And that doesn't mean that in the future we won't have some kind of, uh, some kind of a way to sell um, or to gain multiples of the same skin and then maybe trade or redeem them. You know, we're, we're talking about a couple of different ways we can make the items a little more exciting. Whether or not that is kind of like a, a daily spin at getting a free item or whether or not it's something else, we'll have to see, but... Oh, I didn't make it. I'm just part of the team that uh, that works on it. I do make a lot of the maps for it. Definitely appreciate the love, guys. We put a lot of work into all of these maps. I don't want too many flags. Just to make them, I guess, as good as possible. So, I've changed this a lot from the original submissions uh, that were given to me by Agonator. For instance, I kind of wanted it so that one whole tower was red before it was split right down the middle. So the left-hand side was red, the right-hand side was blue. I actually think it works a little better giving each team their own tower. Now, I can always backpedal on that. Really, it just means replacing half of the maps, uh, half of the flags for the other color. But this is uh, our app that we have. How many albino crack shots do you have? Just one, Hustle. Just one. Yeah, this is built into kind of our dev tools uh, for Shell Shockers. And it's pretty much just like Minecraft. Uh, Slobodan's done some great work in making it incredibly easy to use. Um, people ask me if this we, uh, will ever be released to the public, and it might be. I can't say when, I can't say exactly how, but it's certainly something I'd like to see in the future. Hey, thanks, Hero. Yeah, I mean, our whole goal is to make Shell Shockers as fun as possible. And actually, that's, you know, it's it's a pretty basic metric if you're looking for, like, what makes a good game great. Uh, it's if you have fun playing it. But it's a good place to start. It's easier said than done. There's a lot of work that takes place to make things enjoyable and fun, but definitely a good place to start. I don't like the side. No matter what I do, you guys see the side of that block unless I actually add on those two pieces. And maybe, maybe that's something I want. It makes this its own kind of corridor. You can drop down, but you have to run around to get back up. I like that for this little room. It's not Blender. It's not Blender at all. This map builder is part of our own Blue Ridge Digital Tools. Uh, kind of talked about it. You may have missed it, but we're going to have the whole thing on YouTube later if you want to rewind and dissect anything specific that I'm saying. So it's an interesting map in that when you're up at the top, things are very open. It's going to be crack shot, free ranger dominant, maybe a little bit of our peg shenanigans when you're up in the battlement. Uh, I think you drop down to the mid level and you know you can still use those weapons that you could use up top. They're going to be a little trickier. There's a lot more close quarters and more than that, it's like some kind of Escher nightmare in terms of there is a million different ways to get up to every single level of this level. Uh, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, nice yeet sprinkles. Very nice. Sorry, uh, Vaquero. Right now, there, there won't be. We don't have plans for it, but that doesn't mean we'll never have. And the bottom level is just going to be a, a, the owl would say, a murder, murder, kill fest. I think there's so many little nooks and crannies with some openings. You know, this is a, a fairly large area, but people can drop down on you from above. Let's check out the other areas at the bottom. Pretty close quarters, a lot of little nooks, a little bit of a courtyard. And then more access to the different levels. This one goes all the way up. Yeah, I quite like how balanced it is. I think on every floor, there's four to six ways to either go up or down. Hey, what's up, Hustle? Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, I think the uh, what probably happened is the notification went out, so we're always a little bit busier when that happens. I might replace that with a smaller block give a little bit more room as you come around the corner, but you still hit this. I could do that on both sides. 
I like that. Just keep it symmetrical and keep it pretty open. Not bad at all. So at this point in the map, when you get to this point, I'm pretty happy generally with the layout. Pretty happy with the flow. To find out really more about it, I would want to test it out uh, in a public server, but it's interesting, like looking at his design that you can see spinning in the bottom right corner, he didn't do any of these, or they should I say, didn't do any of these smaller half blocks, these ones right here. I didn't have any of those in the mock-up, but what I wanted was the ability, again, to spectate around the map and not cut off too much visibility. If you have huge blocks everywhere, then all of a sudden it becomes pretty difficult to see what's going on in here. There's a lot less room. Hey, thanks for the follows, guys. Nick Bob, keen for lift. Man, gotta love that lift. Got a zest for lift. Uh, Super Taco Bug Guy Op 785 Nitro 565 Club Lights Gaming Me Sorry T 7892 Firefall Shell Juan Lopez Mr. Iguana Zoro 9 out of 10 Pain Twitch TV I don't think I got any of these yet. How long has it been since I called these out? Wow. And some that I missed Hunter God Clan Much appreciated. Can't read that fast, guys. You're making me work. Gala, Recab. We don't have a name for this yet, Black Ice. Uh, we don't really know what it's going to become, but we've just started working on it. Uh, the only real extra tweak that I'm looking at... What is up? Fidinich? Fidinich? Uh, the only other thing is maybe replacing more blocks for their smaller counterparts. I can't actually do any of this run because it goes straight through to here and that has to be a solid block so if i just did one of them it would look a bit weird it's better to carry on all the way through i guess i actually could carry on to there as you do hit a wall all the way along do i lose anything by making that a little thinner not really but i don't gain much either so i'm just gonna go for the full size block what's up guys thank you for the follow muchos gracias um, the only other couple questions I have about this map is I actually, I started to remove some pillars, I started to knock down some walls, and I, I kind of feel like this is, you know, again, murder, murder place, very, very close quarters as you go up and wind your way up. But there is a lot of open space, so I wanted to see what I could do about that. And Especially with this one here, the middle is kind of hollow, so I hollowed it out. I don't want this area to be quite so large. It's quite a, it's quite a big walkway when I want it to feel like, you know, the very center middle of a map. I want it to be cramped and nasty and tunnel-like and chancy. I want you to roll the dice when you go through here. And when you get to the other side, I want you to be thankful that you live, so. We're going to have to make some edits, I think, to bring in the ceiling a little bit. See how it goes. We might even... Let me go straight up from here. Is there something right there? Yeah, there is. We might even be able to put in a very small secret area. I don't know. Will this block be sealed off? It could be. Don't tell anyone about this. We're going to put a very, very secret little point in here. Put pictures of ghosts, but uh, this one will not be released in the most current cycle. What we got? We got a token. I'm just gonna put a little knife, blue with the digital logo, hiding out in that small area. Ooh, but can I have these? I don't know if I can. I mean, I can't with the current setup, but maybe I can just move this around a little bit. Put the stairs over there. I can block this up. I have to block this up as well. Hmm. Second guessing again. 
I want it to be as cramped as possible. So that is pretty nasty. I kind of like that. It's, it's an awkward jump, but it's not very great flow to walk all the way around or jump into it. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. I maybe maybe I'll get rid of our special secret coin. Open this back up. That one has to stay. Let's see what we can build in the same space to make something compelling and yet tunnel-like all the way. Don't change it, it's challenging. You like that? Ugg likes it. How about the rest of you? What do you guys think? I will be playing Shell later on, Bubble X. A very, 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 very big thanks for the bits, Sherberler. Much appreciated. Ooh, the wolf with those yeet emojis. Great to see Bandit! Bandit, I don't deserve you, but uh, I appreciate you. We got a couple new channel point rewards today. You'll notice the Wiz coins have had a bit of a fashion upgrade. They're looking a little sharper. Every time I'm gonna try and improve the stream, maybe, maybe this is the way. A little bit more open space. Mm, right, the reason I did that was because I had that hidden point. Well, that's okay. We could maybe leave it like this. Think about leaving it like this. And just put in that hidden coin elsewhere. It's still pretty hairy in here. Like, this is still not a, not a safe space. And it works with what I want it to be. I might have to do something about this, too. We have a little bit of dirt showing because it's the bottom of this block, which this is nested on. That's not ideal. I'd rather that be, obviously look the same as what's next to it, but of course, then this is just straight on stone, which is a bit silly. And I like this little area. Like I, I want this to be a thing, so. We may have to even, like it seems crazy to, because we're trying to piece this all together, it seems crazy to change all of this just based on wanting a little patch of grass up here, but I've done, uh, I've done crazier things. We certainly could. Thanks for the follow, Mimi. Much appreciated. Keep the challenging hallway. I like it. Andy, cross the line. That's, uh, and report that to HR. Wait, you're not HR, are you, Andy? Being a real pickle, then. Let's pop this out. So this doesn't need to be as big, and I was lamenting that anyway. So if we actually, if we actually pop these pillars out, that does definitely create a little more difficulty. what that looks like. Don't need those necessarily. Create a little bit more of individual areas, which I do like. Actually, like if anything, does it make the crack shot stronger because you can just hold the angle looking straight down and people have less room to move? Not a bad question. You want to watch the rest of the stream? I am currently the only map designer. Uh, it's not like the other wizards can't or don't have the aptitude or ability. They just, they haven't kind of uh, taken a swing at it yet. Uh, but any ideas they normally have, I, I kind of take on board of trying fashion into a map. But I would be pretty keen for Harrison, or Faith, or Pringles to try their luck. Andy's always welcome, but... He is a busy nuke zone boy, so he doesn't always get the chance. Maybe it's a good time to go over the currencies that we have kind of working in the stream. Obviously, you have bits and subs. Um, those are Twitch offerings in terms of our channel. Uh, I think just watching, you get uh, get um, skull coins. And every so often, you'll be able to react to get more skull coins. I probably don't need to tell you kids how... Uh, how Twitch works. 
in that regard, but we did add some extra rewards and redemption options. So check through what you can spend your channel points on. There is some cool stuff there. Show and tell is in there. I didn't want to add stretch or anything like that. Uh, hydrate is in there. I'm going to assume I missed one. Hydrate anyway. Uh, we have some other kind of new interesting things too. There's a 1v1 option. Make a map on max size and height. It would be pretty fat. Uh, you want me to open it there, robot? I could open it, but I don't know if I'm going to be there talking. I'll tell you what, I will open it. But I don't plan to drop in and chat just yet. Uh, for people not knowing exactly what I'm doing, we have a pretty active Discord. We're up to about 140,000 members now. You should be able to see the link just below the video. Uh, feel free to join us there. Uh, we talk about all things, but of course, you're here for Shell. We talk a lot about Shell. It is the biggest game we've done. Uh, and the specific dev stream channel is open on the Discord now if you guys want to check it out. Or else. Did someone redeem the show and tell, Pringles? Did I miss that? I see the Sherberler cheer. I see the Naruto and God Hydra follows. I would assume that any channel point redemptions also come up in my activity feed, but you never know. I'm gonna quickly show you guys something that uh, I got a huge kick out of. Uh, this was sent to me by JW Barry, and when a lot of Twitch content creators are just getting started, uh, we offer them as much as we can in terms of uh, support, getting them on the front page, getting something next to their name on the scoreboard, and really kind of just giving them as much resources as possible to grow within the category. And uh, I was asking them a whole bunch of questions about streaming the other day, and they sent me this. Get me right in the feels. Get me right in the feels. You know what? I'm I'm very, very pleased with the way this looks so far. Uh, there's a lot of intrigue. There's a lot of spots. This will hold many, many players without any issue. Oh, oh, is that what's happening? I think that's what's happening. I kind of like that. Bob Ross always talked about happy little accidents, and uh, sometimes map design is very much that. It's uh, it's incredibly iterative, so you add something, you see how pieces fit together, you see what works, and quite often you can... Alright, how about that? That's, that's plenty, plenty murderlicious an area for you, if that's what you're into. Someone did redeem a show and tell. Three mask up redemptions? Oh man. All right. Well, God, I got one. We may have to change the amount of time I mask up for. We'll see how stuffy this gets. I mean, I, there were more masks. I could put on a second Jason mask. Here we go. See what happens? <laughs> See what happens, Twitch? This is what you wanted, chat. This is what you get. Do I like squaring this off? I kind of do. I do. Mm, same problem. We come against that. making that flush all the way along. Uh, stream's normally going for about a couple hours. I try and keep it like that. Put a reference in the map, like an Easter egg. Well, we were just talking about hiding a little something something in the map for people to find. Chaotic. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, did we make any extra pieces that we don't need? Let's just have a fish around, make sure we haven't added extra blocks. I found a couple, found three, found four. 
we need all those. All right, so I, I like this. I like this. I like how it's accessible from both sides. I could very well kick this out as well, this whole wall. In fact, did we put extra wall pieces over here? We may have. Yeah, these are not necessary. They're all good. Oh, hold on, maybe not that one. No. We need all those. How many people will this map hold? This will be a, a full size map. This is big enough that I think it's gonna hold plenty of people. Now I could actually, I'm kind of feeling the need to, are these extra blocks? Are oh, nice, okay, I found one extra block over there. Anytime I get to crush a block, it's a good thing. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to basically kick this out the same way. So that it's symmetrical, but I don't know if that's necessary. I don't think it is. I actually like it being one down. You kind of, you have a chance to get down here, being hidden from that angle. Not a fan of the roof as much as I could be. I could just make it all lower like that. Like that whole section. Yeah, I like that. I prefer that in fact. But then again, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go all the way and join this up. Do the same on both sides. Could fill them in. You still have enough space to get down. Makes it feel a little more claustrophobic. I'm guessing that those should probably be just plain. Oh, that's an extra block. I not extra blocks over here. Spent my hard earned channel points. All right, you're right. I'm missing a million redemptions. They're not coming up in my activity field. Uh, let's go back up and see what I missed. The Hall of Death. It's a fine name. I tell you, you know, it is. A lot warmer than you'd think in these masks. Uh, there's... Uh, it's holding on to a surprising amount of heat. Can't wait for map. I saw something. I'm just going up to see what I missed. So there were three mask redemptions, and I think there was a show and tell as well at an underground room. I don't see anything about show and tell just yet. I look like Jason, by design. Did Jason also have another mask? In case he gets sleepy, it still looks like he's awake. You know, I think, I'm not ready to call it dumb, but I think this map is like 90% done, maybe more. I like the bits of it that are thick. I like the kind of red area, how all of this fits together. I feel like it's chaotic enough. I don't love the fact that you can see both of these blocks from over here. And I'm not in love with that either. So we're in a little bit of a problem in that we can't really get rid of them unless we put full blocks there. I don't like seeing kind of the side of these. Right now, it's just kind of, it's just block based. So we can't just, you know, cover the veneer with the veneer of this. We could, if we make that piece. I am the real whiz up. Uh, you might know of me from the BWB Discord. Ooh, some good whiz bucks. I was getting into currency and I actually stalled at, uh, at channel points. There is another kind of currency those of you guys just joining, it is Wizbucks. The more you watch, the more Wizbucks you earn, and you can swap Wizbucks in for a chance at getting a big prize at the end of the stream. Um, right towards the end, I'll give you guys plenty of notice. I will put a GIF of the item up on the screen, and you'll be able to enter up to three times if you have the right amount of Wizbucks, and hopefully win a Skull Bandana. 
which is what it's going to be. Apothesis, Pringles, you got my back. Much appreciated. I may have to take off the masks for this, but if someone does redeem another one, I'll put them back on. This one. This is like solid, solid plastic. I like this one a lot. I think that's my favorite mask. This one's, I mean, this is cheaper plastic. This isn't as nice. We have other ones as well that are signed by the stunt doubles that were actually on set uh, when filming Friday the 13th. So that would be a great show and tell item for another day. Uh, the thing I'm gonna actually talk about today from in my office is uh, quite seasonably, it is this hand knitted scarf. Uh, this was given to me by a uh, by my partner, IRL. And for those of you who can't see if they recognize these symbols, these are the different types of mana from Magic the Gathering. It's not a surprise that uh, the people who work for Blue Wizard Digital are massive nerds. Uh, it might be a surprise that they are well adjusted enough to <laughs> to have partners that we we actually live with, um, and even more that those partners are skilled and capable enough to make what is a completely ridiculous and amazing scar. I can't tell you exactly how it's done, so it's a different color on each side, but I can tell you that it took a long, long time to do, so. I haven't had to buff that out yet. It hasn't been too cold in the Blue Wizard office, but I imagine for too long we'll get there. Mad kills. <laughs> you know what? I should, I should ask that as a, as a matter of fact hypothesis. I should say, are you satisfied with the show and tell? Well, many thanks for the redemption. That was fun. So I think for now, man, I'm so glad that I managed to find the saved version of this map. I was quite disappointed I couldn't find it to begin with and because I knew I had made a whole bunch of changes, mainly to this area and kind of the way this whole blue tower worked. But I was so happy with the changes. I don't know if uh, a lot of you are probably born after the time when um, autosave... Basically, back in the day, autosave didn't used to be a thing. So if your computer, for whatever reason, shut off at any point, you would lose your work. And it was heartbreaking. It was the worst thing in the world. And I had lost in my life, like, hours of work, schoolwork that I've done in one go. And nothing, nothing crushes your spirit quite like losing a couple hours of work. How many people play Shell Shockers? Tons. Tons and tons and tons. Uh, I can say, I think we've had over 20 million accounts created in total. Uh, I know we get uh, over 200,000 players every day. And I know people are playing for an average of 20 minutes. Some people play for hours. Some people just want to jump in and get a big kill streak and then jump out from the dinner. Hey, thanks, Bumblebee. Honestly, when we hear about people enjoying themselves playing our game, it charges us up. It makes us want to make the game better. It makes us want to do more. So we, we definitely appreciate that. And there's a couple of Blue Wizard digital devs lurking in the stream, so they hear you too. Hey, what's up, Hazmat, KJ, Killer False? <laughs> My USA name is Hello Upside. Damn. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I have a USA name. So we're gonna call this done for now. As I say, I think it needs a few more tweaks. If you look at the GIF that's rotating on the bottom right, you will see that there's a little courtyard here. Unfortunately, I couldn't put that in because this is a single block height roof. But we don't have, well, we have a single block, but it's at the bottom. So if I put one of those in, it would be down here and not up the top. 
So basically, we just need to make a version of this block that is, instead of being at the bottom, is at the top, but without actually turning it. We have full rotation powers for all of our blocks. Speaking of which, I rotated a bunch of stuff I didn't mean to. All right, we're gonna call it done for now. Uh, I didn't actually make it, uh, but uh, it started kind of similar to what we're doing today, just playing around with some new code and ways of making games. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna save this so I don't actually lose that work by Poker by Crook, and we're going to, I'm gonna show you some edits I've been making to Helix. One of the issues I think with Helix was that you had these really large areas all the way up. And I think it kind of felt very samey no matter where you were. So like being here felt the same as being here, which kind of felt the same as being here, higher up. Uh, the skins are made in Blender or Maya. Yeah. So what I wanted to do is that as we go up the ladder, I actually wanted to make it so that now you only have two blocks right on the outside. Eventually you only have one block right on the outside. And that leads in, of course, to the upstairs. I also will kind of push this in a little bit. Oh, hold on. I make more edits after this point as well? I don't know. Maybe I made a couple, but... Yeah, because I want to bring this in as well a little bit more. So we're going to make some more edits to this map. We, they might not make it into the game. I'm keen to hear what you guys think of them. Squid Game Mask. I actually have this to share with you guys. This was made from uh, a user in our Discord, Eggenator. So shout out to him. Uh, he made this kind of sugar cookie grenade and this kind of uh, Squid Game skin. And obviously they haven't made it into the game. I think actually this skin, because it covers the center of the egg, it would cover too much cracks. So we want to always make sure that we are showing a lot of what's in the center. Uh, basically not covering up the egg too much. But it does look pretty great. Huge props to Agonator. Uh, you can find him in our Discord as well. Already shouted them out once today, but we might even do it a few more times before we finish. So you liked Helix. Can I get a, like, maybe get a, uh... If you guys want to type good or bad in chat as to what you thought about Helix, that would be great. Moonbase is a great map, but type a good or a bad. Good if you like Helix, bad if you don't. Medium is fine if you weren't uh, blown away by it. Don't worry, my feelings won't be hurt. Generally, just want to know what you guys think. Two towers, great map. No bads? No one thought Helix was kind of meh? Okay. I would expect a couple. Normally, people have all kinds of different thoughts on different maps. The bit that I like the most about this is the top section. Um, I love this being more narrow. I love kind of beaking around here just to get up. You still have your ladder ways one and two to get to the top, which are just a cheeky shortcut, but I do like that other way of getting there as well. Let's kind of try and pull this in a little bit, because I think I can. very well just make it look like this. I'm 
a big fan of having these areas where you can drop straight down. Replace that box. Can I make a parkour map? Very well could. I, I think you will see something like that at some stage. I didn't make shelf knockers, Yeet Prince, but uh, it was made by our mysterious Slovakian developer, Lobadan. I believe he had a wild and crazy night out on the streets and uh, got hit by lightning on the way home. He awoke under his refrigerator, covered in egg yolks and shells. And he had an epiphany right at that moment. He knew what he had to do. Blob does not work in the office, no. He's, uh, he's a remote worker. Send people eggs. I can say that we are looking at the friend system now. I can't tell you when that's going to go live, but it is something we're looking at. Do I like the double ladder? I kind of do. It's also a question of whether or not I get rid of this whole outside ring to make the whole map a little smaller. So I could actually clear out all of the sides of this map and suck everything in a little bit. I don't think I need to do that. In fact, I never really want to go too crazy with some of the edits I'm making to the existing maps. People have favorites. People don't necessarily want their favorite map to change. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Boy George. Nope. We have... Wow, how many people working remotely? We've got... Six people outside of Canada. Right now. And not everyone is in the Comox Valley, where I am now. Um, some of us are further afield. We have one person working out of Ontario. We try, I think, and hire people locally first. Um, yeah, you know, really, if someone's really talented, they got a great work ethic, we'd love to have them. Think? I think this is good. I think we can actually render this map. And I think, you know what happened? Was I made a render of this map and I saved it elsewhere. So I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna open that one. You guys can tell me what you think. I have a map in progress section. Looking for Helix. Right. Interesting, okay, so I didn't... Oh, wait, no, this is the live version. This is, this is what it did look like. So with your full areas around the outside, lots and lots of room going all the way up. And we'll compare that to what we currently have. That's compared to this. It loses a little bit of cleanliness when you remove that white line on the edge. So it was a bit of a shame to see go, but we do like this final area. See you later, Bumble. Yeah, Yoshi, we're on Vancouver Island. Hey, thanks, Perger. Yeah, we, uh, I like this map a lot. Uh, when we release our new game mode, that's going to be one based around kind of capturing different points. When we do end up releasing that, I think this map will be one of the first that we'll try it out with, just because there's these large areas that can work as capture points, these three by three grids. So I'm very excited to uh, to get that going. You guys will hear more about that the closer we get to it. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Fireboy. Much appreciated. 
let's open something else you guys may not have seen. If you have caught every single stream that I've done so far, you will have seen this map. Uh, if you're here for the first time, then this might be completely new to you. And if you guys don't recognize it, I mean, first off, you can tell it is absolutely enormous. This is far bigger than the other maps we've been working on today. Yeah, bruh, it's dust too. Very, very exciting. We have the double doors. We have suicide. We have CT spawn. We've got bombsite B. And even despite having all of those things, the fact that we're kind of just paying homage to the map means we get to be a little, a little crazier with it. So we have spawns up here. Uh, we have an ability to kind of get up on this section, which just doesn't exist, obviously, in the uh, Counter-Strike version of this map. I added a small little drop-down at A-Long, that's what they call this in Counter-Strike. Bombsite A is pretty similar. B has one of the biggest changes in that there's still only two ways in, but there is a ridiculous, massive way out leading to mid. Um, people can't get up this way, but it will be kind of one-way access from this area all the way to this balcony. Yeah, this map's going to be insane. Um, one extra thing we added as well was a little hidden area in here. Connecting, well, just kind of looping around T-spawn. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to hear what you think. I think it'll just... I think it'll be good. Um, this one as well would be a great map for a um, a King of the Coop game mode where you have different capture points in various places. That would kind of look like, let me show you what it would look like. We have A, B, and C right here. So you would go stand on this. Your team would count down. You'd the more people on it, the quicker you capture it. Once you capture it, it would disappear, and another one would spring up. And you'd be able to see where these points were going to be. It would actually appear on your map, much like the spatula does now. And so you would run over to cap here, hopefully the other team's not already there, and then the next one would pop up as well. And I think the idea would be to actually have a lot more than that. Uh, just so there's a variance of different places the next point will be at. So it's not necessarily going to be, you know, one to the next to the next. It'll be a random extra capture point and you'll have to hustle there. So I'm excited to see how it plays. It'll definitely be a bit more skill intensive than the modes we have right now. Uh, which I think people are going to really love. I think it's going to be an absolute ball. And the interesting thing about it, the way we're setting it up right now, the King of the Coop mode, is that when you actually get to 20 captures, your team wins uh, and the score resets. Not only does your team win, but you actually get a prize. So uh, it's different. It's different than what we've been doing with Shells so far make a map based on Latin America? I mean, we could, gamer. Go for it, T-Bone. <laughs> Zams, that's so funny. I'm the same way. I think there was a time when I was in school that I drew out dirt or dust down to the box. I knew it so well, I knew the position and location of every single box. So, in that kind of, like, I'm bored at school kind of way, me and my buddy both had a competition to draw, draw it from memory as close as possible. And I won. Uh, this one was hard to recreate in terms of the exact distances because obviously, you know, we're 
we're kind of limited by our block size, right? So either something's four blocks or it's five. It's very rarely four and a half. So that took, it took a little bit to space everything out and it's not 100% accurate, but it's close enough. I think this area is a little bit bigger than it should be. Whereas, oh, well, that's about right. Maybe mid is a tiny bit smaller. This is only four blocks wide. I think it's going to play pretty similar. And yeah, knowing the map and being able to navigate around, I think it's just, it's great to play homage to the ridiculous, amazing games that, uh, that came before us. I even tried to get this angle, Hazmat, right through here, straight through to uh, these double doors. And yes, I mean, um, compared to the windows in Jinx, these windows are bangable, so you'll be able to shoot right through here. Add a mini-map? I mean, that's not impossible. Mini-map's not out of the question. Other maps for this game mode? Uh, I mean, we will continue to release maps as often as we do, uh, about once a month. But those maps will have a King of the Coop option. So you're going to be able to play King of the Coop on any of the established maps. It's just that the spawn points will be all over the place. Another mask up? All right, I'm going to choose my favorite mask this time. Oof. Looking good. Will you ever make a new game mode? We actually we've just been talking about that. Uh, oh, I got two. I got two good eye holes here. Uh, we've just been talking about making a new game mode, and it's going to be called King of the Coop. It is in development. I can't tell you when it's going to be out yet, but I can tell you probably before the next, uh, probably before Christmas. You guys are going to see it sooner than you expect. Uh, we still have some work to do. Even when we release it, we're going to want a lot of feedback. So. Uh, anyone who's watching, if you're not on the Discord, definitely check us out. Uh, you can jump in there, ask us questions, not just when we're streaming, but anytime. And give us feedback about what you like about the game, what you're not liking, what new features are working. And this new game mode is going to be... We're going to need a lot of... We're going to need a lot of feedback. Um, the time it takes to capture things, uh, how quickly they move around, what amount of them is good how quickly should you be able to capture a point if four of you are on it compared to three or two or one? You know, that's a big difference in how a game mode plays. So definitely keen to hear what you guys think. If you could add anything to Shell, what would you add? Well, I mean, Honestly, I'm, I'm in the great spot that most of the things I want to add to Shell, we, we can talk about, and I can make a good case for, and they get added. It's just, it's always a trade-off about, you know, how, how quickly, you know, we, you can only really put so much into a game, and you only really can put so much into an update. So, with the energy and, and workload that we have, what are we going to put in? Um, so it's always a bit of a conversation. And I think, uh, I think with the King of the Coop game mode, that's the one I'm most excited for. There is some stuff on the far, far horizon I won't talk about that uh, I don't want to get your hopes up about too early. Uh, but stuff I'm very excited for, new features. This map, Will Wonka, is Dirt 2. If you don't know, it is modeled after a Counter-Strike map called Dust 2. Very, very famous. Very, very epic. Very excited to have this kind of homage in the game. Looks like I already did all of this block reduction. How? How? What? 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 Okay, see that didn't even change the amount of spawns. I have caught, interestingly, I think this is a bug in our map editor. I have caught two blue spawn points down here before. In fact, why is that not... Oh, you know what? It's not increasing the spawn because there's nothing beneath it. Interesting. Okay. 
So you can add these, but they don't actually increase the amount of available funds until they have a block underneath them. Let's see. Learn something new every day. Not yet, Will Wonka. This map's going to come out November 1st, so make sure you are online playing on November 1st. You're going to have access to it right away. As soon as we update it, this will be in public servers available for play. So really keen to hear what you guys think. I think I've done a pretty good job at doing what they call the bounds of the map. These red things are basically invisible boundaries, so you can't jump past them. Uh, if you've ever played... Can you get up there? No, you can't. If you've ever played dirt, you will know that every so often there's a cheeky way... Oh! Oh, right here! Oh, that's no good. Every so often there's a cheeky way where you can jump out of the map, and actually I've just noticed it. You can jump from here to there to there to there, crawl up this section, and just completely swan dive do a backflip right off the map that's no good we're gonna have to definitely edit that so whether it's just about taking away that block which is a possibility so i'm gonna have to replace that bottom one with a larger block in that case Let's see what i got oh and i've got a desert side door now okay let's add that in as well hold on 100% spilt my water on my keyboard. Who made me wear this mask? <laughs> All right, keyboard's strong, it'll survive. For sure, if you wanna make a map and you send it my way, there's a good chance I will make it on one of these streams, if it's a good one. We are, have been sent a whole bunch of different maps, so I can't guarantee it. Thanks, Cat Crypt. This is, uh, this is how I look my best. How do you make a map? We have the hardware to do it. Can I change the codes on the New Yorker back because I can't access Discord? You don't need to access Discord to have access to the New Yorker. Uh, you can sign up to the New Yorker straight from the Shell Shockers webpage. Yeah, Zams. By all means, submit them on the Discord. We'd love to see them. That's right. Before I spilled the water, I was just changing that little tiny box to a slightly less tinier box. We have a choice of these two. I'm going to go for the medium one. Move it to the right spot. I think that's good. It's a shame, actually. I want it to be a little bit higher here, but we don't want people jumping up over here. And I could make this a different structure shape, but I, I do like that it is the same as that over there. So I'll leave it as it is for now. That is accessible, so we don't need to put one of these red blocks on top. If we left this open, then ammo would spawn right here. Could you please give ever introduce moving map elements? Not impossible, but hey, take it easy, Hazmat. One thing we're very aware about with Shell Shockers is we want to make it so that it can run on almost any computer out there. And the benefits of that are obvious to people who are playing. It just means that, you know, even people playing on a Chromebook are going to be able to have good FPS. They're going to be able to play the game and they're not going to be too disadvantaged when compared to other players. Um, it's something that, you know, we're, we're really aware of. So when you talk about adding a moving element to the game, it's not impossible. We have to, we just have to be really careful that it doesn't affect performance at all. Uh, I'd love to see just some slight things like some grass moving in the wind. I think that's conceivable, but, uh, we haven't talked it through yet. You can't make, well, you can make a map in any way you want. If you have an idea, you can hit us up with that idea. And who knows, maybe I'll be making it on stream next time you see me. I don't think any of this, this is all kind of 
each square, this counts as taking up that square. So this kind of run around the outside means you don't need any bounds. I think that was the only thing, only pitfall. And I actually did add two new ones of these there and there. Those would have been errant ammo spawns that we weren't able to get up to. Can you make it so we can make a public game, not just private? It's an interesting idea, but the way we do the public servers is a little different, and I kind of like that it's completely random. I do get how it would be nice to be able to make the map you want to play on and make it public, but I think then almost everyone would do that. And before too long, you'd have a bunch of servers with low server population. And you always want people to be in the server. So it's it's one of those questions that kind of seems it seems like a good idea on the face of it, but it's just a little more complicated than you might think. I never say never is gameplay, but that would drastically change the game. So we'd certainly need to give that a bunch of extra thought. Did I not get these as well? Those are four Aaron spawns. All right, well, I'm glad I did this because we still have some work that needs to be done on this map. Glad I opened it today. I'm gonna to make that public and private. We get to set things like the fog color, the point light intensity, the skybox. We feel this would be a better one surrounded by planets. We could put dirt too underneath, uh, underneath the planet, but I don't think we need to really. We'll change it back to daytime. It also drastically changes the way the level is lit. Once we bake in the lighting, it can completely change. Yeah, that is one option, Kongi Kongi. We, we've recently talked about what it would take to allow people to vote for the map they wanted to see. So you would kind of just type in chat, uh, exclamation mark, vote, and then you would be able to choose which map you wanted to play. And if everyone else voted with you then the map would actually change even the public server so we've talked about that idea again not locked in stone yet but certainly something to think about i think it would too i think it would too i think that's a kind of a good happy medium between having a server browser uh, to show you how the fog looks i'd have to render this map and this map is so big it takes this computer about three hours to render it. What I'll probably do before I leave tonight is I will start this map rendering and then come back. I think I have some other fan art from the Blue Ridge Digital Discord to show you guys. Uh, you can see our actual Discord link is below the stream if you want to join us there. This was made by someone called Jasper's GF. Uh, and it's using the Halloween nade we have, but in more of a green goblin type situation. And sometimes we see ideas where we're like, oh my god, why didn't we do that? That's such a good idea. And this is a green goblin kind of uh, headgear for Halloween makes perfect sense. So don't be surprised if you see this next year. Uh, what else do we have? This was made by someone called Sharkbucks. You might know him. He is a Blue Wizard Digital content creator. He works on YouTube and has also made some really amazing fan art. I think actually things that have made it into the game. He's a very, very talented person. Uh, and this is the Sheesh stamp, which, uh, which is pretty great. I'd love to see it in there at some point. Not exactly sure when we're going to put it in, but... And I've shown you the other one. What we're going to jump into now is a little bit of gameplay. I'm going to create a server for the rest of you guys to join. <laughs> I do. Maybe I could have put some more gusto into that, uh, Will Wanka. Maybe next time. Let's see. What?
what map would you guys like to play on? I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking Helix. We had an emote competition recently, uh, actually. Uh, some of Sharkbox's won, an Agonator's won. Jinx, you're into. Any other map suggestions? Are we just on board for Jinx? I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Jinx was one of the first maps I made on stream. Let's do, let's do teams so I'm not dying all the time. Guys are just a bit too deadly. Get that loaded up. Putting in the new chat command in just a second. All right, type exclamation mark code in chat. That should be working. You guys should be able to join now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play just for a little bit and then I'm gonna start the giveaway. Oh, the system works. I got my Halloween shotgun. I'm looking around the map. Interactive maps, like uh, kind of uh, things with like a button you could press to open a door, that kind of thing. I'd like to see some interactive elements. Um, Zams. It's too deadly. Too deadly, Zams. I don't think I had much of a chance. Don't know if I ever said this before, but Dancing Doggo, Zam's God, we really appreciate you guys buying VIP. It makes a big difference to us. Uh, it's, you know, ad revenue is one thing, and that does support the game mainly, but having like a guaranteed amount of people subscribed always helps. So I'm going to shout you out as well, Zik. We appreciate you getting VIP. Type exclamation mark code. And you'll be able to join us here. Sorry, Machu Picchu. Right in the back. Hey, what's up, Shark Bucks? Alright, I'm in trouble. Math is on me. My bodyguards just taking him out. Blue team looks like they are winning easily. What is up, Iwa? I heard of you. I mean, you know, we try and make it worth your while too, Zanus. Uh, those of you who get VIP, you get double eggs, you get no ads, you get an item every two weeks, you get more colors. You get a certain amount of items you get to keep just as long as you're a VIP. We try and make it as juicy as possible. Dodge, dodge, move, move. I know he's coming for me. I know. Oh, don't fall down. Exam. Oh, I'm still here. Oh, oh. Crafty nades. Crafty nades. Alright, back out for Zams. Guys, you can't let me get to 10 in my own lobby. It's not right. I mean, it is teams, and we do have by far more people on our team than the other. Oh! He knew! He knew! We gotta run. We gotta run. Sick. Looking swick. That was, uh, that was sweaty. I only just got out. No one's in the underground. Oh, bad place. Bad place. I regret everything. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. It was always gonna happen. 
always gonna happen. As soon as I thought two people and jumped into a hole. My biggest streak is 50, and it was done on Haunted last year when it was public server. Now I got my weapon though. You're done, red team, you're done. Thanks, Bird Lord. Appreciate it. Handshakes. Let's go up to the tower. Peek out of the tower. I kind of, one thing. One thing I wish was a little different about this map is that the tower isn't. The tower isn't that accessible. Uh, it's. Uh, it's a little difficult to get to. Hey, thank you, Pro. Much appreciated. Uh, you know, like, there's obviously ways to get there, but it's not within the flow of the map. It makes more sense to go up that ladder. It makes more sense to take a left here. Rather than take a right to find that tower. Oh, it's Adams. It's Adams. We're going to change map in just a moment, and when we change map, I'm going to launch the giveaway at the same time. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, reds, reds everywhere. That delay. I was ready, I moved, and I died. That's how it goes sometimes. I hope you guys liked my extreme close up earlier. I'm bad? I am bad. I mean, I would also venture that the people I'm playing with are kind of amazing at this game. Uh, but yeah, generally speaking, I'm not that good. My tactic is to make the people I'm playing against as nervous as possible. And so when I play them, they're not playing their best. The giveaway hasn't started yet. I'm going to leave this in spectate mode and we'll get back up. should be able to see that now on the bottom right of your screen. Looks like we got some people coming through. I'm going to create a new map. Code is just about to be updated, but in the meantime, make sure you do exclamation mark ticket. We're going to go and play a full helix. Teams on US West again. I'm gonna update the bot with that new code and I'll let you guys know when that's up and running. All right, exclamation mark code will get you the new code. Feel free to join me here. Many thanks for the follow, 771. Dark winner, lol it's me. Never shouted you out when you followed. Kongi Kongi, karma as well. Zams, bubble, you guys are quick. I'll give you that. Oh, Mary, what is this? What, what is this? 
Oh, can too. Whew. I feel uh, I feel like I'm getting ganged up on here. People are out for blood. do you think is best on this map? I'm kind of undecided between crack shot, shotgun. It's kind of hard to say. Cypher, gotta run. <laughs> On that show, that was very satisfying. I appreciate you flinging yourself in my general direction. Oaken is at the top of the leaderboard. Okay, I don't like that much. I don't like that, Iwa. Oh, I'm too close. Too close. Glitch spot here? I don't think so. AKOP. Oh, dancing doggo. Appreciate you. Make sure everyone here enters the giveaway. If you've been watching for a while, you will have enough whiz bucks. It's exclamation mark. Pick it. Enter the giveaway. Whew. I see a 360 attempt. Oh, doggo. I'm sorry. That was painful. Ooh, jump me, jump me. Oh, we got a squadron of red boys. My nade was gonna get him anyway, I think. That. We got Zam somewhere up there still. I see him. And uh, you can't hunt anyone. You can't hunt anyone. As soon as you do, they come out of the woodwork. I could run there. I'm pretty happy with it. Get out of the way. Sometimes you just, even if they're really far away, you know. Oh, I'm not a dead man. Uh, you know there's just no way you can get out of the way in time. This is the US West server, so it's not going to be super crisp for everybody. If you are out east, or maybe even just down south enough. It might be a little rough for you. Oh, I wanted that midair. Hmm. Oh, Mary. He's looking for it. Truth that belonged to Oken. Zam's at a 9, almost at a 10. <laughs> that nade was rough. That nade was rough. We're gonna try the try hard here. See if we can get on a bit of a chain with it. Okay, okay, we're not gonna get any kills with it. We're just gonna die. <gasps> Red's everywhere! I don't like this, Eva. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all! Everywhere I look! Yeah, 
yeah, I gotta say, I love love the new bone guns. Face did such a good job on those. Oh, okay, and switch teams. Fighting for the right side. Is this a block you can't get on? That has a no, you can fall down and get on it. I'm gonna try that quickly. We don't want grenades spawning anywhere you can't get to. Might be a little tricky. Okan's got my back. That's good because I can't hit a thing. Surrounded. Hems at a 15. Alright, Sam, so I'm looking for you. The time is up, my friends. Is that above me? That was a great shot. Ridiculous shot, bubble. Oh! And then the midair? And then the midair? Someone clipped that. That was. That was too much. That was pain. That was pain. I'm gonna be in the map looking for bubble axe like this. Wait, wait. That's my close up, have I plucked my eyebrows shot. Oh, that looks good. That one looks kinda tasty too. I don't want to talk about it. I'm up to falling down the hole. I am on Wi-Fi, so I'm going to be experiencing a little bit of lag here, especially streaming to Bubble. I said I was scared. I assume you're climbing that ladder. Finish. Experiencing a little bit of shock here. We're gonna maybe go for two more deaths, then we're gonna pull the giveaway. If you haven't already, do exclamation mark ticket in chat. Oh my goodness, Zams! Much appreciated, Zams. You don't have to you don't have to subscribe to the stream. Honestly, you guys are playing Shell Shockers is enough for us, but very much appreciate it. Some good people got uh, got the nod there, so appreciate those gifts. Oh, oh, you're a dead man. You're a dead man. I'm, I'm a dead man. That's one. One more death. Zams is just too good. Oh, redemption? Redemption? Redemption. I don't actually think he was trying to kill me there. Right, I see someone in the corner. We're going over. They climbed up. Or died. One of the two. Too much flick required. Got styled on. Got styled on? You know what that means? We're gonna launch the giveaway. Let me just head over to my other screen. We are going to head into that giveaway. We've got 36 tickets purchased in total. Some people managed to watch enough of the stream to actually get multiple entries in there. KJ, many thanks. Pipo, many, many thanks. OG Vibes, multiple entries. Pogger of Champ, Jan Luigi, and Skull the Great, Merrick Berry to rinse the beans. Gotta rinse those beans. Nothing worse than unrinsed beans. So we've only been 10 minutes into it, but 
The idea is we don't want the whole stream to be taken up by the giveaway. We just want to run this at the end, but people can basically gain whiz bucks anytime they watch. So if you do want to watch a stream sometime and you're not able to stay there for the whole thing for the giveaway, don't worry about it. It just means you're going to be able to buy more tickets next time. The giveaway is now closed. Five, four, three. You don't have to compete. You don't have to. Let's see. Today, I think we're going to do two prizes. There's going to be two people. But I tell you what, if a VIP user or subscriber wins, we're going to draw another one as well. So let's see who we got first off. Moment of truth. Eon Luigi, one, two, four, three. You are the first winner. Congratulations. You had a 1 in 20 chance to win. Whoever it is, they actually, uh, they bought three tickets, so they had a good chance. It doesn't matter if they're not here, I'm gonna DM them. We're gonna draw one more. Killer false, zero. I mean, anyone who entered would have either had to watch the stream for a certain amount of time, and also would have, um actually entered in the last 10 minutes, so that's pretty good. <laughs> that's wishful thinking, nobody. I'm gonna do one more, uh, and we're gonna leave it at three for now. Draw another winner. Kipo Not Martin, one, one, one. Huge congrats. The giveaway is complete, guys. We're gonna play a couple more rounds and then probably draw the stream to a close. Took out his shield. It's a lot easier to kill people when they're not looking at you. I'm in trouble here. Got Mary on me. Oh, my backup has arrived though. Didn't quite get behind cover. Hey, thanks for joining Dancing Doggo. I appreciate you being part of the stream. I can do a quick look into my inventory. This is what I have equipped right now. I can change it to a nice fancy VIP red color if I choose. Oh, maybe let's go through the shotguns I have today. A couple of stock ones from the shop. Obviously the Halloween item. Groundhog, one of my favorites. Gotta love those teeth. The Buck. The classic Buck. Not my favorite Buck Rogers skin that has been uh, been made, but one that I do like quite a lot. St. Patrick's Day. The Pew Pew slash Pride set. We got the Steampunk set. Oh my goodness, what was the name of this set? It's something... It was one of our actual quizzes that we ran in the Discord at one point. I can't quite remember the exact name of the set. Uh, we got a Nuke Zone shotgun. Birthday? This one is not birthday. No, it's something else. We got the brown snake shotgun. We got the white snake shotgun, the albino. We have the Raidland shotgun. Rest in peace, Raidland. We have the Rotten shotgun. We have the Galaxy shotgun. One of my favorites as well. The Killstreak shotgun. We have going up the. Uh, what, what am I thinking? It's not Unz, obviously. It's Badoosh. Thank you. Didn't quite put my finger on exactly what noise it was. This is looking at the up here. I don't want to be up here. I think I went away. Still here. Still here. I'll finish producing them, and then I'll go see what else I got. One. One of three. Oh, you're, you're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. Where's your backup? You coming back up? No, there he is. Oh, what? We're good, we're good. Hurt. Oh, he's almost done. One more, one more. This is my penthouse apartment. You can't have it. 
Rouge. <laughs> Why is it that you always have to miss a certain amount of shots before you die? Can I look at chat? Let me catch up quickly. Unban me from the Discord. Feel free to send me a DM. We can have a look at why you were banned. Found Squid Game Face. Uh, please unban, please unban. I think that's what you're getting at. Use the Pixel Heart Red Goggles with the Merc Pistol. We're going to quickly go through the rest of the inventory for shotguns. We have the vehicle set. Uh, we have the, uh, the Merc Zone set. We have the Summer set shotgun. We have the kind of back to school slash pencil case set. We have the Blue Wizard Digital Art Comp Submission, the Twins shotgun as it's called. We have the brand new shotgun as well. Someone made a quick request. Oh, actually, no, they're, they're asking someone else to use a specific gun set. How do you get your headband? Uh, if you won the giveaway, fear not. As soon as the stream is done, I'm going to DM that to you. Uh, we don't have your actual proper account uh, based on your Twitch. They're not linked, so I'll have to send it to you, and you can redeem it. And that's it for today, guys. We're going to find someone to raid. Feel free to stick in this category or stick in this server and play. Uh, it's not going to close down. I might play a little bit after the stream as well, but just to start with, we are going to go ahead and raid somebody. Appreciate you guys watching today. We went through some pretty awesome maps. Pretty happy with it. I spilled water on my keyboard. It still works, at least for now. If JW is live, then you know he's gonna get it. It's one of my favorites. Let me get that up in front of me, see if I can find him. We can, he is already streaming Shell. Make sure you let him know where you're coming from. Everyone get ready to raid. JW, please follow him. Please give him biddies. Please give him subs. One of my favorite content creators. And one that might be involved in a uh, future Twitch Drops event. So keep your eyes open for that. They may have some exclusive items you can only get through watching Twitch. And yeah, I appreciate you guys. And I will see you in the Discord. And I'll see you in Shell Shoppers. Take it easy.